For many years, people have heard of Prince Constantino Contecino. They've heard of him flying in the bull rings, the stadiums, the racetracks of Spain. He flew exhibition on the continent, and even as far away as England, he came to fly. His party piece, of course, was the low snap roll, hitting the wheels on the ground, snap rolling, touching sometimes as many as three times, touching the wheels and rearing the aircraft up and snap rolling it. Now these pictures are an all-time classic a collector's item. This is ECAEX being flown by Prince Constantino Contagino. He escaped from Romania during World War II in the 109 Messerschmitt. He was exiled, of course, officially to Spain for the war. He had another young Meister, but actually this is the one that he was quite famous in, and this is the one today that I have with the 260 Lycoming on it and 178 Papa. I'm very fortunate to have it after viewing this film. Now, the, he flew before each graduating class of the Spanish Air Force. He flew at every opportunity. Rumor has it that he had five wives in five different countries, and his only mean of, means of transport was this small Bucher Youngmeister biplane. So he traveled the country, traveled the uh, continent, uh, visiting these various wives. Everyone who ever saw Prince Constantino Contacacino fly predicted that he would uh, uh, kill himself at any given performance because of the extremely low altitude at which he performed. Many people wondered if he was really good, uh, excellent aerobatic pilot, or just daring and wild. I think after viewing these films and analyzing these various maneuvers you're watching, that you uh, will have to agree that the man was precision. Although some friends of mine, P.J. Murray Crop Dusting Organization from Oxnard, California, operated in Spain and they hired the prince for six months and he could never really adapt to aerial crop dusting because he had to fly so near the ground right side up. This is true. This came to me from the man that actually hired him. I'll describe a few of these maneuvers. Uh, there are two slow rolls in here that are lower than you will ever see any human slow roll any aircraft without touching the ground. I'll point those out to you. He had modified this young master with a big aluminum extension on the rudder and little bitty wheels without brakes, which were the tail wheels from a Fiat biplane fighter. Now you notice that it's going vertical there in this particular scene, up, up, up to a dead stop and a hammerhead, excellent hammerhead. It went so high vertically even with the Siemens SH-14A 160 horsepower engine because of the reduced drag of the little wheels and some streamlining the Prince put on the aircraft. There was an extremely low snap roll. I asked one of my friends in England how low he'd seen him actually snap and he said, well, that's why he missed the ground with the wings two feet. I had no reason to disbelieve it this. Now, these are for our Tiger Club members who are making a series of five videotapes, but this particular one is for Tiger Club members only for a donation.